Yeah. Don't go to Mexico. That's that's the that's what they do, right? They go like, yeah, la, 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 or some sort of shit. Whatever. Yeah, Mexican food is amazing, by the way. Anyways, um, don't go to Mexico. Uh, if you're dumb, you can go. I'm sure there's a place in Mexico where it's for tourists, where it's extremely safe. But I'm gonna tell you this. If you're like, yeah, I want to go to Mexico, I want to go over the fucking, you know, I just want to go over the border, just drive through and stuff like that. Okay, just make sure you have $20 at least, okay, for going and coming back. Because guess what? The cops are going to stop you. They're going to hassle you. If you don't have money, they're going to either, they're going to take you to jail. I'm just going to make sure you understand this. Because this is my, this is the, the experience that I had. And by the way, when I went to Mexico... I was in the back with my ex at the time in in a car with her friends in the back while this motherfucker is just speeding. So it's even dangerous order already. Like we're riding in the back like illegally in a sense because you're supposed to be seated with. You can't just ride in the back of a truck or something like that. Whatever the case where we're riding in the back. A cop stopped us immediately. And he's like, blah, 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 blah. You could go to jail. The guy's like, here's $20. Then he goes, you got to give them 20 bucks. If you don't give them 20 bucks, you're going to fucking jail. And that's how it is over there. So we're driving, blah, blah, blah. We go over. And then here's the best part of it. Never trust anyone to tell you, hey, you need parking? Come on this way, baby. All you got to do is give me $5. You could come park over here. And that's what we did. I was like, who the fuck trust this? We went, they, the guys like come in here, we went into like an alleyway and we parked the car in an alleyway for like $5. Do you know how easily, which I know this actually does happen. That's the funny part. I know for a fact this happens. You know how easy it is to be like, come and park in here and then a bunch of guys just come out with machetes and come park this machete in your neck. Clack, 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 clack and just kill you instantly. It's everything about... Going to Mexico when I went was the most sketchiest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's just not... I can go because I can fight and I can... And I'm not afraid of anything. I grew up in, you know, in the hood and all that stuff. I went to Skid Row. I've done all this stuff. I can handle it. But I'm just giving you a warning. If you're not a daredevil like I am be careful over there make sure you bring people that oh i don't know what to do bring your lawyer i don't know what a lawyer that speaks spanish that is but i don't know what to tell you you're gonna fucking die but or, i mean you're probably not but uh, a big chance over there but anyways then here's the ki here's the part where i'm like okay i'm not coming here ever again never again i'm not i'm not i'm not I'm not coming over there ever again. Though if, if I do, if I do come over there, I'm gonna go at the border and I'm gonna jerk off and I'm gonna come on the other side, or like on the Mexican side. I'm just gonna go. Oh, that's the only way I'm coming over there. I'm just gonna come on it. Oh yeah, viva la Mexico, like that, or something. Hopefully, someone's on the other side giving me head or something. I don't know. I like some Mexican head. Why not? It's all good. I like all. Me I like Mexican head, black head. I like. I don't like black heads on my. On my nose, I like black head. I like Latino head. I like that alien head is the best because the aliens, you do know when you're when when you have sleep paralysis and you can't move and you're awake. That's an alien trying to give you head. That's literally what it is, and you don't understand. Okay, anyways, that's a whole nother video. But uh, here's the part that really why is my Xbox on? It just randomly turns on. I don't get it. It's I, stupid. Uh, here's the part that bothers me the most. This is when I was like really never coming here again this is the weirdest thing that ever happened criminal can you just shut the fuck up and tell us already no i like to say the best part and i like to to just w make you wait like like for a long time so you could be like tell us already god damn it hold on there's something on my seat i'm doing it more i'm extending it to bother you but anyways here's the part that i was like this place is awful baby the, there, there was a lady, I was I was walking with my ex or whatever, there was a lady there, okay, 
she was pregnant and she was selling flowers fucking yeah whatever stupid flowers whatever and she's like uh i don't know how much she would charge you maybe a dollar for them i don't know how much but guess what she did while she was going look at these flowers she got really really close only an idiot wouldn't be able to feel this but she literally went for my wallet in my pocket her hand like you couldn't see her hand and, and i felt it and i'm like get the fuck out of here what the fuck are you doing and then she just like went left and a pregnant woman will fucking steal your wallet i was like god damn that shit's that's that was fucking crazy i'm like jesus christ that shit's crazy i'm like i'm not i'm not gonna go over there anymore because there's and you know what the funny part is all that's happening is because there's not enough jobs over there. There's not enough money. I just wish there wasn't such corruption in Mexico, man. I, Mexico looks beautiful and shit. And I just wish there wasn't so much corruption over there. So much bullshit happening where people have to do that. Same goes for Dominican Republic. All these things, the, 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 the you know, the, the girl prostitution, the young girl prostitution problem. There's just so much disgusting shit going on over in all these countries. I just wish there, I, don't you wish there was like a Superman for every like country or something like Mexican Superman, Superman America, Superman Africa, Superman, just superheroes in these areas are like, if you do that, you're dead. And then you're, you know, you're scared. And then the things worked properly. Even if there was one Superman, he could fly everywhere and just make everything better. You know what I mean? It just sucks. But yeah, be careful when you go to Mexico. That's all I got to say. You thought I was going to be, be careful when you go to Mexico eating the spice. No, the spicy food is the least of, you could put spicy hot sauce in your eye. You just better be careful what alleyways you go into. You got to be careful. That's all I got to say. Don't go into alleyways all day. If you go there, make sure you go with people that understand what they're doing and all that stuff. Oh yeah. And by the way, I went to a club there and it was the weirdest thing I've ever experienced. All I saw was a guy dancing like shirtless with some girl it was the most awkward thing i've ever seen in my life it was awkward uh yeah i'm done that, well, that was good subscribe to everything uh twitter's uh youtube uh, uh thanks hey <laughs> thanks all right